Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we will unbox, mount, and test this Sight Big Shuriken 3 Rev B. Around the box, it is stated that the cooler is compatible with LGA 1700, 1200, and 115X. It is also compatible with AM4 and this cooler utilizes the AM4 backplate. It is also then compatible with AM5. The fan included is a Kaze Flex to 120mm slim fan. As for the specs, the most important part for me would be the height which is 67mm, a direct competitor to the EXP120-X67. Anyway, opening the box. Upon opening, you'd see the accessory box, and the accessory box contains a manual which is very important for cooler installation, mounting plates for Intel, AM4, and another one that looks exactly like Intel with a different set of holes. A backplate for Intel. As for this backplate, you can remove the rubber pads to adjust the mounting screws. By default, this is for LGA1700. For 115X and 1200, you have to adjust the other hole like so and do this for all sides. A thermal paste which is probably good for two applications only. You have four tall screws for 120mm thick fans, shorter screws for AMD mounting, plastic spacers for both AMD and Intel, bolt nuts for Intel sockets, and stud nuts specifically for Intel 2066 mounting. As I don't have an Intel mounting sample, here's a quick guide for Intel. Put the back plate to the back of the motherboard, put the spacers, put mounting plates on top, screw the bolt nuts, and then on top of this will be the cooler. While dismantling, I noticed that the rubber had already fallen. Anyway, it was easily fixed. Anyway, as for testing, I'll be testing on the usual B550i Aorus Pro AX. Pre-installed processor is the Ryzen 7 5800X. RAM is a Kingston Fury Nan RGB 32GB 3200MHz CL16 RAM. Based on the instructions provided, I need to remove the original AM4 clips and retain the back plate. As this came from another build, there is no backplate currently, so I have to put that. As for the standoffs, the rubber should be facing upwards. Place it on top of the motherboard, screw the mounting plates to the backplate, I tried to see how it fits, and I think this will be compatible to motherboards with tall VRM heatsinks. However, if you have tall M.2 heatsink, this might not be compatible. Apply thermal paste and mount the cooler. If you are keen enough, you'd notice that I missed one step, which I will detail at the end of this video. Anyway, to mount, turn the screw three turns at a time until it is fastened. While mounting, double check if you have proper contacts. Lastly, plug the fan to the fan header. And it's time to test this. As for testing while benchmarking Cinebench R23 for 30 minutes, it was expected at 90 degrees Celsius on average. While testing FF15 in 4K for 30 minutes, the CPU temps averaged at 72.72. .72 3 degrees Celsius with a max temp of 81.4 degrees Celsius. I tried to swap the fan with a slim Noctua fan and it didn't improve the temps that much. When I tried to swap the fan with a thick Noctua 120mm fan, it improved by 3 degrees Celsius. As compared with a retested EXP120-X67, EXP120 is cooler by 4 degrees Celsius against the big Shuriken 3. While testing FF15 in 1080p for 30 minutes, the CPU temps averaged at 79.74 degrees Celsius with a max temp of 89.5 degrees Celsius. I I tried to swap the fan with a thick Noctua 120mm fan and it improved again by 3 degrees Celsius. As compared with a retested EXP120-X67, it is again cooler by 4 degrees Celsius against the big Shuriken 3. So overall, it is fine. However, it's just that EXP120-X67 is better. As to the big Shuriken 3's availability, this is already a discontinued product and the next one available has a nice height of 69mm which is a bit taller. So yeah, that cements EXP120-X67. 67 further. Anyway, that's it for this video. Do let me know in the comments below on what you think of this cooler. Thanks for watching. Do like or dislike and subscribe for more unboxing, SFF build, and benchmarks. Bye! Okay, so one thing that I missed is actually peeling the plastic from the CPU cooler. In my first run, it was actually 90 degrees Celsius on average. And with a Noctua fan, it was 2 degrees Celsius cooler. So I took it out and noticed the black flap when I touched it. It was plastic. I then removed it and retested it. So yeah, that's what I missed in the steps previously provided. Anyway, bye.